Hi everyone, welcome to the second video that we're recording with Nicole. This video's topic is adopting artificial intelligence as a business. So we see that artificial intelligence is transforming industries and we see a lot of different applications being digital factories, autonomous cars, automated uh, diagnosis in healthcare. Yet there is a certain disillusionment with the technology. Many companies struggle with bringing actual value to their business. In this video today, we'll discuss why companies should be interested in AI, what does it mean to be ready for the technology, why is the timing important, and finally, how should companies approach AI integration? So I'm going to call Nicole again and yeah, enjoy. Hi, Nicole. Hi, Johanna. <laughs> Let's dive into, into our chat. There are companies that are not giving too much importance to artificial intelligence. Do you think this is sustainable? Why should they be interested in this topic? I think there are several reasons to be interested in the topic. Firstly, according to many studies, Artificial intelligence and machine learning will add $13 trillion to the global economy. That's the size of China. I think every business should be thinking about how to secure a piece of that pie. Secondly, automating certain tasks, right? We do see that um, a lot of people are not satisfied and in their job and that they would rather focus on tasks that add high impact and have high value. And if you could automate some of these tasks away, I think that will increase worker satisfaction. And the third point would be improving the safety, right? We have a lot of assistance systems now in cars that actually raise safety in, in traffic and reduce the number of accidents. And another dimension of that is improving the quality of people's work. So we, for example, work in the medical sector and help and assist doctors in diagnosing certain illnesses. So basically you're saying that it's very important to keep the future in mind. Uh, however, many companies believe that they will just be able to adopt AI when the time comes, when they decide. But there is a lot of preparation involved and it's quite a time consuming process. So what does it really mean to be ready for AI? I would say you can never start working on talent too early. Really try to create an environment where your employees, where your colleagues, where your teams really get exposed to technology, build prototypes, experiment with it. It. That is really one impact that we've seen in many organizations. Secondly, data. Think about what sort of use cases you want to drive and which sort of data you need for this. Often building coherent data sets over a considerable amount of time, well, it takes time. So it's never too early to think about which data really can drive your industry and your company forward. And the third thing is infrastructure. So if you're, for example, in a manufacturing industry, then getting the right gear, getting the right infrastructure in place is quite critical to start gathering data and, and be able to expose your teams to all these experiments. And in regards to the timing, why should companies start focusing on artificial intelligence now? I think the basis of it is that often we're kind of stuck in very linear thinking. We think that things evolve at a certain linear pace and technology like artificial intelligence is really exponential. When we think in the future we'll be at a certain point, we'll actually be at a way more evolved point. And this means that at the beginning, right, you have to put in a lot of investment. You might get a little bit disillusioned with it, but you have to get in early in order not to be overwhelmed or to kind of lose track of where things are going. So imagine you have a company that wants to introduce machine learning solutions in their businesses. Where should they start? What should they do first? First of all, try to identify a use case that's a real business case. If your case does not have real business value, you will lose buy-in along the way. Thinking about what you want to achieve with machine learning or artificial intelligence is a really useful first step. Secondly, try to build an environment where people, your employees, your teams are willing to experiment. You need to get your feet wet with this technology to understand its business impact and business value and to find the right application. Some experiments will go wrong, but remember to get that experiment that goes right, you also need to have some experiments that go wrong. It was really interesting, Nicole. Thank you so much for talking to me today. I hope everyone learned something new. Again, if you have any input or questions, please comment on this post and we'll definitely get back to you. Okay, thank you. Bye.